Okay, day 26. Oh yeah, 26 days of unearthing Jen. And there's been a lot of transformation, not even intending that, from uh, long hair, short hair, from depression to not depression, to from being super concerned about what I'm going to talk about and how I'm going to show up and how I'm dressing and to not so much. Um, so today is a little bit of, well, it's a lot of goodness, but also a lot of frustration. Mm, trying to do, it's my day off and trying to still do work. Um, not going the way I want it to go. Not feeling inspired right now. That'll come back just because I'm tired. I worked out today. I tried to take a nap. And then, and then. <laughs> so, I was watching this Facebook Live today and this lady was talking about triggers and how we need to feel them, right? So, because we call them little things. And they're little things, she was saying, there are little things for a reason. So the universe will bring us little triggers, little by little by little. Here's a little one, here's a little one, like I cut you off or get this email and trigger, trigger, trigger. And they're small to start with because we, but they get bigger from they're from the universe because we we just go oh it's just a little thing and we just ignore it and then we shove it down because we're so we're so heavily told to shove it down be positive only focus on what you do want right which is something that I teach as well um, and then we're getting into sh bypassing and shadow work and stuff that I do not want to deal with right now because I feel like naturally I've been doing all of that but so she's talking about the little triggers and so I got right after that video I got triggered I was triggered this morning because my dog ate everything in the universe and I was trying to work and then this afternoon I got um, I had to send a not nice try to be respectful boundary setting not okay email to a company that I've been dealing with for years and giving them a lot of money and just like being super triggered because I'm like what do you mean it's not gonna be ready in time I need for this date and I paid extra money and they're like you didn't pay extra money I'm like here's a receipt and I'm like just super annoyed and again it's a little thing but if you don't feel the triggers for the little things they're gonna add up to the big things and then you're gonna have to deal with a big smack in the face so I was like okay what I would normally do is I would be like, okay, it's okay, everything's fine. But I got mad. I got, I got mad. I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> First of all. Second of all, here's the proof. Third of all, like, I need this stuff. I need this stuff. And it's not here yet. What are you going to do about it? And I even called. And I don't ever call. I don't like to use my phone. But I was mad. So I felt it. And I dealt with it. I feel a little bit better now. Um, just a frustrating day but we all have those days but just to remember that the little things are still things to look at right we don't have to shove them down we don't have to ignore them we should still be like feel that frustration don't allow people to not really walk all over you but just step over your boundaries right and those little things will show you every day where your boundaries are not strong yet where you need to set your strong boundaries um, and that's an ongoing process, right? You don't have to have a spiritual business like me to go through that. So it's just really paying attention, really paying attention and noticing these and not ignoring them and not bypassing them and not going like, okay, it's fine. I'll just get over it. No, right? Stepping into your power means you you deal with shit. You face your things that are you don't want to deal with but because you think it's going to be not fun and heavy, but after you do it, and you step into that power and you're like, no, that's not okay. I said in the email, this is not okay. Um, and then I just felt better for saying that. So 
It might sound like a video about, wow, who cares, Jen got a uh, not positive response from the email, but, and now that reminds me of like past times, hasn't happened in a while, knock on wood, where I've had a former student or a former client not be happy with my boundary or my saying no to them and I feel like there's <laughs> there is a very there is someone there is another client that I feel like I'm I should not uh, work with and I haven't had the guts to to say that because of past reactions from past events where I have set a boundary and said no this is not okay I don't think this is a good idea um, so I have to do that and if you're watching this it's not you it's not you it might be you but it's not you um, so yeah that's that's day 26 I think um, nothing super exciting but every video doesn't have to be super exciting and just day-to-day -day life of unearthing Jen